Next news out of China. China wants to rewrite the Bible to conform to communist standards. Um, back in 2017, the president, Xi Jinping, said that um, all members of China must be firm Marxist atheists. So now, this year, he's taking that, that logic to the next level, and he's urging religious groups to rewrite their Bibles to fit, <laughs> not, not just Bibles, any sacred text, actually, to fit with communist standards or risk them being redacted or removed from any public availability. Okay? Hmm. Um this is, a lot of people are criticizing this decision, obviously. It's a very risky decision to do this uh, because people obviously knew what the Bible said before it's about to get rewritten. Um, and that can cause a huge backlash uh, from people who are upset about that. But he, but what he's actually saying what, to everybody who, who criticizes him for this is that um, he's not doing this to bring them to a, a communist standard. What he's doing is he wants these religious texts to be updated um, so the the fit the requirements of a new era. Ha! Huh. Yeah, oh. new era. New era to them means it's the con the Chinese government. By the way, it's not really fair to call China's government communist anymore. It's it's it's, it's like they have redefined communism. They redefine everything. They just it's a, it's a, it's a, whatever they are. It's just their thing, and they just redefining they they re redefine communism. They redefining Christianity. Um, you know. What is what China is so Chinese government? We have to say Chinese government, not China. But Chinese government is so weird. Like it's like it seems like another, another dimension or something like that. Things happening there, like it's, it's movies, uh, stuff. You know, it, it just seems like fiction. But two comments about this. First of all, Christians outside of China love this. Love this. I, they use these videos that you know they have these videos like Bibles being smuggled into China and these Christians like they bringing like bags and they open their bags and they pass in the pass the Bibles and these Chinese people that were waiting for a Bible they never had held the Bible in their hand and they're getting it and they're crying and they're like they're showing these in churches and they're like look you, you don't understand how these Chinese people realize how valuable their Bible is. You guys just have Bibles everywhere. You don't know what you have. These these Christians in China that they look how much they are, how happy they are that they got, uh, you know, they got their Bible. Look at these poor people. Like this is how important the Bible is. These these it just it just works so great for uh, you know for Christian propaganda. Uh, this victimization of Christians, but at least at least. Yeah, I give credit to Christians that the Christians, unlike many Muslims, again, hashtag not all, really are bringing attention to this, right? So, again, Christians are, a lot of Christians are hypocrites because they only care about uh, Christians when they're being victimized. Um, unlike, for example, us, where we care about Christians, Muslims, atheists when they're all being victimized. Uh, but at least... Uh, they do care about people that are actually being oppressed like Christians in China are being oppressed unlike the Christians in the United States where they care about Christians only in the United States which are like uh, they imagine being oppressed because they don't care about Christians that are actually being oppressed in China or in Egypt for example, right? Um, so get, I give credit to these Christians that actually bring attention to this uh, a lot of Christians do but a lot of Muslims don't bring attention to the fact that one million Muslims have been arrested in China and put in concentration camps for the crime of being Muslim, right? Like, where is the outrage in the Muslim community? Again, some places I've seen it, like especially in Turkey, there's a big reaction to this, but that's more of a political calculation because the places where you expect a bigger reaction, there is no reaction. Like, in fact, there's an excuse. They make excuses for China. Like... Pakistan and Saudi Arabia have congratulated China for the way that it deals with terrorism in China. Like, yeah, but, like, if Israel and United yeah. States, yeah, officially, not just like, they, like, they made a letter and everything out of it, right? Like, if, if United States and Israel don't do anything to Muslims that is a fraction, a fraction of what China has done to Muslims, they would be, they, you know, the outrage would be a million times more. Like they, they, they are just focused on the United States and Israel as the enemies that they recognize. 
But China, no, apparently China gets away with everything. Again, hashtag not all. I've seen some Muslims slowly bring more attention to this. In fact, this might work for, again, so Israel is good for anti-Jewish propaganda when it comes to Muslim community. Europe and United States is good for anti-Christian propaganda, even though they don't frame it as anti-Christian anymore because they don't hate Christians as much as they hate the Jews. But atheism is a greater now is a greater threat to Islam than it has ever been. And the more Muslims start recognizing atheism as a threat, the more they're going to look at China as the boogeyman to warn people about. So I'm hoping like, hey, Muslims, you look at China and if you don't care about the Muslims, at least use it strategically against atheism. Like do anything, just bring some attention to this. Like these are like, what the hell? Like, why is it that you don't see a, f more, a fraction of the outrage that they have against the United States and Israel, even though what they are doing to Muslims is nothing, nothing compared to what China is doing to Muslims. And again, the Muslim community should fear China a lot more than the United States and Israel because China is tomorrow's superpower. China and India are tomorrow's superpower. And both China and India are way, 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 way more anti-Muslim than United States is or ever will be when United States is yesterday's superpower. United States will not remain a superpower. You're going to... Can you guys hear me? I reached out to Armin. It doesn't look like... Hey, guys. Um, yes. Are we, are we streaming still? My power got yeah. cut. Are we still in the live stream? Do we, people have my audio? Yeah, people are there. Uh, the stream hasn't started yet. No, nope, stream is not connected. How do I bring it back? Um... Maybe if I cut, I should have waited. Tell me if it's, tell me if it comes back on. Uh, people are saying it's on. There we go. So looks okay. like we're back. Are we back? Uh, it's it stopped again. Okay, hold it on. Again. It will be. It will come back again. And it's back. It's back again. Is it back again? Yep. It's okay. Back. I think we're going to be just on YouTube now. Hold on. Let me just double check. Sorry. You know what happened? My power just got cut. Oh gosh. Yeah. And it came back on though. So are we good now? Are we, are yeah, we... it looks like we're good. Uh, another godless atheist gave us an update, said that I was wrong about homeschooling in Seattle. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.